All righty, everybody. Welcome back. This week in indoor football, we've got the IFL starting, you know, in full force. We have more than two games this week. We have more than two games. I know, right? That's crazy. Also, there's a team we don't know where it's going to be yet. Um, we don't know where the Colorado Stampede, if you don't know. It's a new team that's filed a trademark, everything they have. I believe they have an arena set up. I, I don't know, you know everything about them at this moment, but I do know that they exist. We don't know which league they're going to be in, though. We don't know if it's going to be the CIF or if it's the IFL. The IFL wanted that, you know, Denver market, you know, around there for quite a while now. They haven't had it, you know, since the Colorado days, the Colorado Crush, you know. They haven't had it since those days. Um, CIF, pretty much the same thing. You know, they're in a much tighter geographical footprint. They do... You know, they do want a team in Colorado. It makes sense to have a team in Colorado in the CIF. It just makes total sense for that to happen. So we don't know which we don't know which team is going to be, you know, which, uh, which league, excuse me, which league the team will be in. We don't know yet, but we'll find it out, you know, eventually. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that as, you know, we find out where in the world that's going to be. Um, but yeah. More IFL games this week. There's four this week. My Frisco Fighters will be going up to Spokane to take on the Shock. That'll be the late game on Saturday night. Of course, the Blizzard and the Bucks, Bismarck, Green Bay, both teams have been playing pretty, pretty good so far. They've been playing pretty good so far. For us, two perennial favorites, the Barnstormers and the Storm, you know, Sioux Falls. You know, they brought a bunch of guys back, the Barnstormers there. They're they're in a they're in an interesting time themselves, you know. I know I picked the Barnstormers to win that game, but I, I'm, I'm just an outlier. And of course, Sunday after the FCS championship game, I will be watching the Rattlers, the Arizona Rattlers, a favorite, a wholesale favorite to take on the IFL championship this year, taking on the expansion, the third team in Arizona, the Naz. Wranglers, the Northern Arizona Wranglers, baby. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Of course, we do have a team in the AAL that said, we're not playing anymore this year, and that is the St. Louis Bandits. I presume, you know, Jeff Hunt and company out there at St. Louis just hadn't paid their players. That's what pretty much everybody has assumed. You know, they didn't pay their players. They had a good production. I mean, they had a good production. Wasn't nobody there. Nobody was there. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, another AAL cancellation. Then there's some more weird stuff with as far as cancellations go. You know, there's teams getting affected by those cancellations in the AAL. So, I don't know what's going on out there. CIF. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been pretty much the same in the CIF. I mean, if you don't have the Salina, Salina, Salina uh, however you say their names, the Liberty, if you don't have the Liberty winning the CIF championship, then what's wrong with you? Uh, the American West Football Conference, they started up last week, or, you know, they, they started last week. Um, not much really to say there. The United Arena League, they started up Peach State Cats. They play in a weird looking, you know, soccer plex or whatever whatever it's called. It's not it's definitely not an arena, but they play in something. I don't know what it's called, but they play in something. Uh but yeah, there's there's some AAL games this week, but mostly, you know, they're games that don't count towards the standings as usual. Oh, excuse me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, there's a bunch of AL games that don't count towards the standings. It was supposed to be a Spokane shot, um, Tampa Bay Tornadoes game. That didn't happen, of course. As expected, that should not have even, even be remotely considered. That should have never been considered. That should have never happened. Even if it was going to happen, it shouldn't have happened. But thankfully, I don't think it happened if my memory serves me correct. So. You know, it is what it is. So, they, but Spokane does have that blue turf set up. Does have that blue turf set up. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there will be a video dropping Thursday about the NFL schedule. Of course, 
And if anything else comes up throughout the week, of course, we have the SAS Championship on Sunday. I'll be covering that. Then I'll have some videos scheduled to line up Monday, you know, and, you know, the next Monday and after that and blah, blah, blah because of the situation I'm in right now. So I'll see you guys Thursday, hopefully. I mean, there might be some more stuff throughout the week that I'll cover, but, you know, who knows. Of course, the NBA, their play-in tournament, I do have to talk about that as well. So peace, everybody. I'll see you soon.